anything's there anymore, but that drop of a, another two pound grayling. They seem to be following me today. But anyway, here I am, I'm up doing my chainsawing. It made me think about health and safety and uh, how if river keepers nowadays had to follow health and safety regulations to the letter of the law, honestly, we wouldn't get out of bed in the morning. Unless, of course, we'd filled in a great wad of paper and documents saying danger of banging head if get out of bed in the morning without thinking. So it's impossible to meet health and safety requirements doing this job. It'd need to be at least three of us. One to hold the tools, one to do the work, and the other one to fill in the paperwork as we were doing it. Spa shot students used to come here, like trainee fishery students, sort of river keepers of the future. But unfortunately, it's five or six years ago now, it stopped here because of health and safety because we were interviewed whether we were suitable for fishery students the last question of about a three-hour interview was um, will they be working near water and I laughed because I thought it was I thought the the interviewer was trying to be funny and his deadly serious face he said no no will they be working near water I said, well, I'm a river keeper. These are fishery students. They'd be working in, around, under, over. Of course they'd be working in water. He said, well, he said, that makes it very difficult then for our insurance purposes. <laughs> so no more students come here, which is a complete tragedy. But there we go. I'm moaning. If only I could find those grayling again. Keep looking. You've got me now, I can't stop thinking about it. And I feel mad now, I've kind of ruined my morning. Health and safety. They need to wear hard hats. They need to have safety glasses. They need to have gloves. It's pretty much all I wear. They need to have steel toe cap boots or safety shoes. Difficult with waders on. Ah, not allowed to wear waders. They're not allowed in the river. No petrol driven machinery. Uh, they're not allowed to get on a, that mower, use those chainsaws, fair enough, you know, dangerous stuff. Nothing sharp. They're not allowed to use anything sharp. Right, so. I've got to plonk them down in front of a television and let them watch television all day. Hmm, electrical, might be a problem. Okay, sorry, but I just had to get that off my chest. Ear defenders. You've got to wear ear defenders. They're not allowed to use petrol driven machinery. Why are they going to, why have they got to wear ear defenders? Perhaps a distant squeal of a Shetty's warbler going to upset them or something or damage area. I mean, it's just madness. Didn't fill out the health and safety. I had one practice at filling out the health and safety paperwork. Didn't fill it out properly. Ah, what did I do? Well, I look, didn't mention the main road. The main road, the main road half a mile away. Yes. Well, how's that affecting us? Got to mention it. Perhaps that's why they need the ear, ear defenders. Oh, you fucking hell, fucking hell, fucking hell. Okay. That's it. I promise you that's it. It's just those grayling. They made me, they made me say it. They made me do it. It's all done now. It's finished. It's over. I'm going to go. See, that's why we drink too much. Madness. <laughs> <laughs>